Melissa, I got a great surprise for you. Congratulations, Mom. Congratulations, Mom. We're proud of you. Congratulations on your 50th episode. We love you. Well, happy 50th to On Display. Shout out to my beautiful children. I love them so much. That was so cute of them because they never want to come on the podcast, really. And I'm always begging them. So thank you so much, Antonia, Gino, and Joey. I love you guys so much. And thank you guys all to all of you for 50 episodes of On Display. Oh, my God. I honestly can't even believe that this is my 50th episode. I'm about to go into season two of On Display. And to be honest with you guys, it just keeps growing and growing. And I am so grateful and so kind of proud because it was very out of my comfort zone. If I'm being totally honest, I was skeptical about it at first. I wasn't sure if this was for me. I wasn't sure if it was something that I wanted to do. Um, And then I wasn't sure, like what kind of podcast that I wanted to have, you know, like what do I want to put out in the world that's unfiltered and not on Bravo. That's really just listening to Melissa Gorga. Like when I can just talk to my fans, like what do I want to say to them? And it was super, super important that I didn't to me that I didn't just have a podcast that was clickbait, right? That I didn't just have a podcast that was attacking other people for the 45 minutes that I'm here talking to you. And the fact that this podcast has become so successful and as successful as it is without doing that, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm, I'm very overwhelmed. I'm very happy. I just found out it was my 50th episode. My amazing producer, shout out to him, Brett. He's amazing, guys. You don't get to see him or hear from him, but I could not do this show without him. He's amazing. So we have to thank him, too, because you don't get to see him all the time. And I really just want to say to all my listeners that you blow me away. You really do. I'm reading all your DMs. I'm seeing you guys on the streets. It used to be that everyone used to run up to me and talk about, I shop at Envy. I love Envy. You know, I, I obviously, we love the Real Housewives of New Jersey, but almost everyone now comes up to me and says, like, we love the podcast. And then they tell me what their favorite episodes were and what I said on some of the episodes. And, you know, I just threw a little event at Envy the other day to support Ridgewood High School, um, which I'm so happy to do. I, I am all about, you know, supporting small businesses and promoting small businesses. And I love that this town really does help support my small business. So I'm very grateful for that. Um, but I have to say like so many of the people that came into my store the other day were reciting things from my podcast, which I loved. And one thing I couldn't believe was how many people were loving the Jillian Michaels podcast because everyone was so affected. And if you guys haven't listened to it yet, you should definitely listen to it because people were so affected by the creamer. So she was literally giving me so many nutritional facts on what's good for you, what you shouldn't put in your body. And the coffee creamer stuck with me to the point that I can barely drink my coffee in the morning the same way anymore. I like look at myself sideways every time I go to pour this coffee creamer into my cup, knowing that she doesn't approve. And it's funny because so many fans will come up to me now and be like, oh, we have changed our creamer since we've listened to your podcast. So I, I love that. And I want to say that, like, that's what I'm happy about. I am happy that I have this platform and it's unfiltered, that I'm able to be real with you. I'm able to bring my husband on and talk to him real and unfiltered and have just like conversations with you guys and also with housewives about like life. And I truly don't use use this platform to hurt anyone, to attack anyone. It, the most I've done is clarify some situations, tell my point of view. Uh, and so, you know, I, I'm proud of it. I just want to say that. Going off of that, I will tell you this, my best episode, okay, because there's numbers involved here, guys. So, you know, there's always the back end of all TV shows and all production and all, you know, anything. So, the best, best podcast, the highest numbers, and the most listeners that I've ever had on the podcast was the one and only one of the episodes that I've done with Joe Gorga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm laughing because just I just, 
I just sat here for five <laughs> five minutes. Oh, Brett, I love you. My producer, I Julian Michaels. You. You know, Jillian Michaels. Jillian, Jillian. Michaels. She told me about the creamer. I could tell you about the creamer. I told you about the creamer years ago. I said, no, I don't. You know. Well, I'm, no. Get, I'm getting to I'll your make, introduction. You should okay. feel, hold on. What? This guy, he can't sit down. He cannot just sit. He's like <laughs> no. on the edge of his seat. Like, what, what, what about me? Are you going to say my fuck? thing? Hold on. Can right, you let well, me okay. do my thing here? Do you think? Do you think? So, Jesus Christmas, Mary and Joseph. So, he... Honestly, number one episode uh, is, is one of the, you know, we have many episodes, yes. was one of my episodes with you, almost 150,000 listens, 150,000 listens, yeah, you know, they're all, they're all awesome and they're all very high, but that is my highest. And I will say, I am grateful for all of you. That's a lot of listeners. Okay. I, I have to say, like, I am not a professional podcaster, right? So I'm grateful. I didn't come here thinking I'm the queen of Wait, podcasts. Stop right there. No, no. No, hold you on. You are a I, professional I podcaster. I am? Yes. Oh, my come God. Come on. Stop talking down on me. I'm are you not, crazy? But like, I'm Honey, not. this is the... F- I am shocked that today's 50 episodes. I'm proud of you. You're amazing. I'm going to tell you every day now, really... You you shock me. You Thank shock you. me every day, and I'm very impressed. And no matter what you do, you succeed. And oh I love God, that. So keep so... doing it. So stop saying I'm not a podcast. Oh, yes, you are, honey. I am. Where am I right now? I got invited to this. I guess I'm on your podcast. Yes. It's called I... On Display. I'm looking at the sign right now. So <laughs> you are, baby. All right? So well, let's... thank you. Actually, that was very nice of you. Well, you know, we like you build each other up. I feel like you haven't given me a compliment like that in a while. Yeah, you're Why ass. don't you also, while you're on a roll, yeah. you, were, you came to Envy the other night. I mean, how, you know, because I remember you gave me a little hard time back in the day about opening my small business. No. And you told me you didn't need my crumbs. And, you know, <clears throat> my business makes... <laughs> Very good numbers, and I just would love for you to say you were wrong to the people who have all watched that episode as well and know you very well. It would be very nice of you to say you were wrong about me. Well, listen, I'm, I'm a man will be a man, right? A man will no, always admit. No. no, a man. I'm trying to say a man will always admit when he's wrong. And a true I, man, a good a, man, a good man. Yeah, yeah. and Not I right. would say I was wrong. Oh. I was wrong, but what I was doing was trying to motivate you to do well. I wasn't doing anything to say nothing bad. I like to motivate Honey, people. Eat, I don't need so, your crumbs. It's not very motivating. Yes, it was. It was like saying, listen, so now I want you to say, when you're when you're at Envy, I want you to think in your head, this guy called it. Does, yeah, I'm if this that is way. crumbs. I'm gonna make. No. I'm gonna bake the cake now. Right. And that's what I love. And I'm definitely baking a couple cakes, nice ones, lemon and meringue got, pies, pumpkin cheesecakes. Yeah. I make chocolate mousse. There I you make go. all make kinds it all. of cake. Good. And I'll be there eating. Shit, them. I'm making sprinkle <laughs> cookie cakes as well at this point. And so. I'll be there eating them all. And 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 one thing I am, like I just said, I, I'm very proud of you. I'm at your 50th episode on your podcast. I choose you. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that, my love. Well, thank but, you for helping me get the highest rated episode that I've ever had, which oh, 150, oh, just about 150,000 people. That's a lot of people listening in. Well, that co- what, that, what that tells you is, is, listen, we're just as real as can be. What you see is what you get, right? And that's, yes. what, that's what we're going to talk about. I mean, that's the most important part of this. And that was what is super important to me with this is you know because you could use these podcasts for many different reasons and I feel I feel proud at night when I go to sleep of that like I came here I spoke to people that I think I can pull knowledge from and pull facts about certain things and share them with my listeners and I'm not going to just sit here and gossip the whole entire day about housewives and about Bravo TV. And, and I know that a lot of people would love to hear me sit here and gossip about every single show on Bravo. I get it, especially my own cast and family members. I know that that's the easy way out guys. And I also know that there's a dead end there if I'm being honest. So I've chosen not to take the dead end road. I've created myself a little bit more hard work. I work a little harder to keep it interesting and to keep topics that we can discuss that aren't just about a TV show, that they're about real life, that you can actually leave my podcast and say, you know what, when I was listening to Melissa Gorga, this is what they said, or this was what she does, or this is the opinion of her guest. And to me, that that's more, that has a higher like relevancy and uh, like, it's more what I wanted 
this day. Definitely. That's what I want to listen and, to. I, and I haven't caved, and I'm not going to cave. Um, I hope I don't cave. You know, never say never. Never speak definitively. <laughs> they say never speak definitively. It, when you're, you know, PR will tell you that. Let me just, like, give you a little behind the scenes. They always say never say anything that's definitive. Never say I will never because you might. So that's I'm right. never going to say never. But, you know, I'm telling you that my goal is to keep it, you know, with exactly kind of what I'm doing, to be honest. And I love it because I, you know, I, I, I listen to your podcast and I, ju- I get educated. I really do. And it's not just like nonsense. And as a, and, and again, I'm a man and I'm a businessman. I go to work all day and I, and I put it on and I'm like, whoa, I, I just learned something. And that's what I'm proud of you about. It's not just bullshit. You know, I can definitely take the easy way out, right, and discuss housewives all day and and almost like do clickbait where I'm attacking and I'm and I'm talking about shows and I'm putting people down. I mean, that's literally the easy way out. Right. But I'm choosing not to do that. I want to do it where people are learning something from me. They're hearing me truly unfiltered talk about real things that happen in real life. Love it. You're saying learning something. And I mean, you're right. I had Jillian Michaels on here talking about fitness and nutrition, telling us what to eat, right? Then I had Brian, the points guy, right, giving us all credit card tips. I had Elaine Goldsmith-Thomas, who is an amazing friend of mine, really talking to us about strong females in Hollywood, which was such a great conversation. And I mean, listen, obviously I can can go on down a different road, but I truly don't want to. So – with that said, I'm I'm truly happy with the way the show has gone, and you know I appreciate that the fans appreciate it, or should I say the listeners? Yeah, we're we're going to start talking about real estate too, and we're going to teach them real estate. I mean, we should have an episode yeah. that's completely on real estate. I bet Definitely. you everyone would love to hear just like even how we got started, right, yeah. and how we started to make money, and how we were truly a young couple. Um, that did that so we're definitely going to promise you guys a real estate episode maybe the next time joe and i jump on here together definitely we'll 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 talk about real estate and that's where you can give us all your expertise there you go what's up everybody i need all the extra energy that i can get this holiday season that's why i drink spark it's avocare's best-selling energy drink mix and it's definitely my go-to for extra energy and focus this time of year spark has just the right amount of caffeine i need for these busy days and it's not like too much caffeine it gives you just the perfect amount of energy it's not where you can't sleep at night So I'm hosting this year and the holiday prep is just so much easier with the help of Spark. You guys know I'm always running around with the podcast, with Envy, with the kids. It like never ends. And if you're like me, we're looking for all the good, healthy, extra energy we can get. So make sure you grab a box of Spark for someone on your gift list or just treat yourself this holiday season to 15% off your first order when you go to avacare.com slash Melissa. That's A-D-V-O-C-A-R-E dot com slash Melissa. Yes, you can get 15% off your first order when you shop at avacare.com slash Melissa today. Can we just like talk about the holidays for one second? Love there the is there's something about December. Love it. Joe, but like yes, I love it. It puts you in the mood, but I'm I'm even going to say something else. Like I don't want to leave the house. Is that weird? No, it's so comfortable. You're home. It's warm inside. Is it like the Christmas tree? Like yeah. I don't know what it is. Like I literally just don't feel like making many plans. Like I obviously have a lot of like work obligations and me and you make so many plans like dinners and Christmas shows and this and that. But like I light my fireplace. I'm putting up my Christmas trees. I don't know. There's something so cozy about December. I almost just want to like turn the world off right now. And literally like even when you come home, I'm sitting at my desk. Like I barely even run around during the day if I don't have to. I just want to be home. It's, I don't know if it's because the house is new, too. It might have something to do Tis with it. Tis the season, honey. Tis yes. the season. Like, I love December so much. It's actually, like, weird. Like, so it's family. It's romantic. It's nice. It's calm. It's... 
it's lovable. Everybody's in happy mode. Really, it really is. Like we it's, sat with our kids on the couch the other night and watched a Christmas movie. Yep. And it was cute. It was actually we watched the Lindsay Lohan's new Christmas movie, which guys, it was actually really cute. It was cute. cute. It was cute. It was we nice. haven't seen, you know, Lindsay. I, you know, this is like the first movie she's done. I feel like in a while, she's been in hibernation for a little bit. But let me just tell you, it was super cute to watch, like with it the was. kids. Antonia loved it. She did it. really well. Yeah. She really, she I mean, Joe, it. she's a child. I mean, she's been going. For years, she is like a like a child star, by yeah. the way, like huge child star. She is huge, and it was it was cute. It we was. Actually, but th- but my point. Lo- getting back to my point, the fact that our kids are sitting with us, the Christmas trees on. Like, I don't know what it is. We definitely eat more like cookies and junk. I, I see a lot more of like I have like these little mint peppermint things all over the house, and I just keep popping them in my mouth, but. I don't know. I, I'm like a December. I feel uh, like I should be one of the queens of Christmas. I mean, I don't want to take Mariah's crown. And I, know, should, yeah. I know I could never, yeah. which, by the way, I'm going to see Mariah this week. And I am so excited. I do like my cousin's trip every which Joe gets so like bah humbug about because he's like he unfortunately he doesn't bullshit. have. Because you don't have a big fun group of cousins to go like see Mariah with, and you don't even want to see Mariah. Hey guys, it's it's, it's bullshit. That's how about inviting your husbands. I mean, it's terrible. If I had a bunch of cousins and I'm like, all right, it's, I'm gonna have a good time. You sit home. No, that's not what we're. See, First that of all, Melissa will be like, that you no, take it I that think way. it's rude. I think it's rude. That's one thing you guys do. It's holiday season time. You got to do it together. Okay, it's but fun. what about how we're going tomorrow? Oh wow! Well. I mean, we're we're gonna we're gonna be at the, we're going okay. to see Michael Jackson Ooh. with all of our kids. We're we're spending a full day in the city. We're I planned a whole Christmas day for us tomorrow. Just FYI. Uh-huh. So like, why if I had cousins and I was doing, I said, listen, I'm gonna go spend the whole. Whole day. day in the city it's without like, you. She'd be like, Rah, what are you doing? Oh, How you, dare you? Oh, she I would. Just, she would. She wait, controls wait, I, me. I, I she just, does. I just want to let you know that you're going to get so much backlash on this. But you do. You control me. But you know. Because people no, not, are going to be like, no. Joe, let Melissa go to see holiday shows and make memories with her sisters and her cousins. She, she, you have been going for the past 10 years. Nobody said you can't go. Okay. But if well, I was going. Humbug. I said, I, if I say I'm going out with my boys. It's, you know, for the holiday season, and I'm going you to do. the city. You, wait, hold you on. go, where are you going? Hold Absolutely on. not. What kind of man are you? What kind of father are you? No, 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 no. You and your you? boys do this <laughs> holiday <laughs> dinner every single holiday. No, you we guys, do. just the guys, go to this Holiday dinner. lunch. Lunch. Um, lunch. The lunch starts at 12, and you get home like 9 p.m. Get out of here, 9 p.m. All right. We'll, we'll, and you we'll stumble, it. stumble in the door. Never, never. I, Joe Gorgon never stumbles. Honey, you do your holiday things with the guys. Too. All right. How much do you guys want to bet? For the that holiday, bet? When should... I go for my cousin's weekend, right? And weekend. I, well, it's a weekend, and you know what? I always come home a little early, by the mm. way, because my husband's a little grouchy. You're like a buzzkill. Yeah. Okay. Um, I. It is a, just like two nights. It's two nights. I usually stay just the one night, and I'll hang out the next day, and then I go home and sleep in my own bed on the second night. But everyone else stays for the full two nights, and they look at me sideways, like, "Where are you going? And why aren't you making our memories together?" But I do leave the second night because I don't want you to have convulsions and like. You don't. I don't have healthy. convulsions. I think it's a. You know. I just think. I wouldn't go for two nights. Just as a, just just me. Okay, so if you can have, it. if you had amazing, I have a wife and I have children, so I I put my wife with my two nights. Oh, if I'm gonna go enjoy my two nights, I'm bringing my wife. Oh, stop I'm such it. a good guy. I love you me. You are so dramatic. I do. Trust I love me. Everyone so good. is so gonna DM me and say he's crazy. Enjoy your cousin's week. Good, you do. By the way, let me ask you this: If you had amazing cousins like I do, which we just do girls and gays, by the way, it's girls and gays. Um, but if you had amazing cousins like I did, and yep. you were gonna have like the boys holiday weekend with your brothers if you had brothers okay. and your cousins what would that entail like what would you do i couldn't do anything because my wife <laughs> keeps me on a leash and i and she'll be mad okay, and she'll, if you she'll bitch go, at me so i can't even answer that i'll be like ah, well oh my god you go on these comedy tours and you sleep in hotel rooms without me like you did it at least twice a month and i don't even say boo right, you. Yeah, work. and then that's every, work oh work okay and then when you get done you go eat dinner and you get done at 10 at night and you start dinner at 10 p.m all your dinners start at 10 30 and i'm just home okay call me when you get back to the hotel room oh talking but about comedy there. you guys want to buy a gift 
this is a perfect stocking oh, stuffer. Yes, we have for, to tell them. You know, you, you, you buy my comedy, my stand up comedy special. It's only 20 bucks. It's 20 dollars. Wait, guys, so let me tell you this. We recorded one of his specials, one of his comedy shows. Um, so you are able to actually stream it live from home. You, uh, we also, so if you can go to the real com, you're able to print out a little gift certificate. So you're able to like buy it as a gift. It's $20 for an hour of laughs and fun. <laughs> yeah. And you know what, guys, it is a cute little thing. If you're home this holiday season, definitely go to the real com. You can literally watch one of his comedy shows live from your living room. It's a great stocking stuffer gift. If you're looking for a little extra, like fun, gift to someone you know listen it's in hanukkah there's eight there's eight gifts in hanukkah give one of those of <laughs> Joe go. kwanzaa gifts. merry christmas to your mother your mother-in-law your father your sisters everything it's a great gift um yes and the funniest part is when i got home yesterday i come home from the gym here we and go here he, we go joe is sitting in my lip, which he's never, ever, ever home during the day. I'm like, what are you doing here? There's a whole, like, cameraman set up. He has the funniest <laughs> looking elf hat on his head. He is sitting fully dressed on a chair in front of the fireplace with my Christmas tree behind him and, a like, a vodka on the rocks in his hand. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. what the hell is going on here? He's like... I'm recording like little teasers so that I could put them on Instagram and tell people that they can buy my <laughs> okay. my holidays for their holiday gifts. They can buy my comedy special. And I just looked at him like, what the heck is he had an elf? Wait till you guys see these. He had a fake elf on his head or something. I oh, know. whatever. I mean, and you really the funniest part was like. The guy was giving him like things to say, and the lines. This is some behind I've the changed scenes. my lines, and he like stutters on them, and I'm then like, he has to like re give it to him again. And I'm no. in the background screaming like, "Oh, Joe, will you just say it?" Like, it's so yeah, funny. because I, I'm not good when people tell me what to say. No, you're not. You I, don't. You're not good like that. I'm not you good with reciting go lines. Off the yeah, I go off the cuff, and I just run with it. You know, I just I just listen to uh, Leonardo DiCaprio when he did. Um, Leonardo what, DiCaprio. Yeah, when he did t- t- Titanic, what about right? It? I just heard the producer was on. On I heard him on this interview, and he said he was about to fire Leonardo because he wouldn't. When he came there to do the interview, he says, "I got to read the script." And he goes, "Yeah." He goes, "No, I don't do that." Like he likes to just do it off the cuff. He likes to do it off the cuff, and he goes, "Well, if you don't read the script, you're not in the show. You're not in this movie. It's an amazing movie." So the guy said, "Okay." So he went in, he came in, and then he did it. What he wanted to do? He did what he wanted to do when they were so amazed. Really? They were so amazed and he got the part. See, like, that would be me. Yep. <laughs> I would because just do what I want to do. Leonardo, he goes, I don't read scripts. I do. He reads a little bit. He knows I of it. I believe that. And I then be- he just comes off the cuff. I believe that. Like, give me the gist, the gist of, like, what's going on here. And he probably just rolls with it that's like me i'm like a leonardo oh my god joe gorga well <laughs> you guys you guys could be the judge of that so make sure you like guys leonardo definitely DiCaprio. joe gorga DiCaprio, gorga yeah oh my god hey guys it's time to ditch the chemicals with caraway homes non-toxic cookware and bakeware collections so you can make healthier cooking a piece of cake Caraway Homes kitchenwares are all designed for the modern home and feature a chemical-free ceramic coating, so your food can be prepared with peace of mind that no hard-to-pronounce chemical junk will get into your healthy ingredients. All sets come equipped with easy access storage solutions so that there is no stacking required. Gone are the days misplacing your lids. This only happens once a year, guys. Caraway Home Cyber Season event is almost here. Save up to 20% on all Caraway Home products, including their internet famous non toxic cookware set. Listen, guys, trust me, it's the holidays. And if you're anything like me, you're going to be cooking a lot. And when you're cooking, why not have peace of mind that nothing except for your actual ingredients is getting into your food? Ever since moving to the new house, I've been obsessed with grabbing more caraway items. Along with the saucepan I bought a few months ago, now I just bought the saute pan, which I absolutely love because these pans, guys, they are just so pretty. Over 30,000 people have raved about their caraway home kitchen. And like me, it's now time to try it yourself. 
Visit CarawayHome.com to take advantage of their Cyber Season event and score up to 20% off your next purchase of non-toxic kitchenware. This deal is not going to last long, so visit CarawayHome.com to shop all their incredible products and to save up to 20% this holiday season. Caraway, good looking, clean cooking. Hello, it's Emrata, aka Emily Ratajkowski. I finally have a podcast. It's called High Low with Emrata. I'll be talking politics, philosophy, yes, feminism, and also sex, gossip, TikTok, all of it. I'm really looking forward to you joining me. I'm hoping it'll be like we're FaceTiming and I'm going off. From Sony Music Entertainment and something else, listen to High Low with Emrata wherever you get your podcasts. You're finally at that hot new spot, the one your friends keep raving about, sitting across from your date. It's going... Another round? Really well. And that dish you've been dying to try? Oh, it's headed your way. You can smell it, hear it sizzling fresh off that skillet as it comes closer, closer, and served. Go ahead, enjoy. After your phone sneaks a bite first... When you're with Amex, it's not if it's going to happen, but when. American Express. Don't live life without it. You know, that's funny. Talking about the real Joe Gorga, we actually went out to dinner last night with a couple of friends, right? And you know what we did say about you? It's funny because the one thing about Joe, and I know there's always, like, guys obviously were on this reality show, right? So there's, like... So much press to read about all of us. And Joe, you get the shit end of the stick a lot of the times. Like you get, <laughs> you do because it's like you're on, poor Joe, you're on like this woman show, right? Holy and shit. like the women do die for you too. Like when we're out in the streets, I've never, like people know that he has a heart of gold. They just, they know it. They could see it in your eyes. They do. But you, but the haters on, on like Twitter and Instagram are like next level tried to bury you to the point that it's like weird. Like they say things about you that are so outlandish that I, I'm like, what am I reading right now? And I'm like, where did they get like the, like, where did this come from? I don't know. I don't, I don't know where they, some he just killed so, a raccoon. No, I didn't. Yes, <laughs> they're they're like, nuts. Joe, some of it's so crazy that it's actually weird. It's almost like there's like an army. Like, like, I don't know. It's a little kooky. But, you know, the one thing I'm going to say about you, which, which was what my friends and I just discussed last night, right in front of your face, is that, you know, the one thing about Joe is love him or hate him, right? Agree or disagree with what he says. What you see is what you get. You That's are it. real. That is the what you are. There is not, there is no fakeness to you. There really isn't. You're never trying to like win someone over, unfortunately, because sometimes I wish you were, but you're not. And you will say what you want, do what you want, and truly say like what you mean. So that is the one thing that I will say about you because we're talking about the real Joe Gorka in comedy <laughs> and the real Joe Gorka dot com. It, it did remind me that like that is the one thing about you. Like people don't need to wonder about you. They they know what they're going to get with you. And you do you you wear your heart on your sleeve. And I feel like the jury is out for a lot of other men that surround us right and like even our castmates and people but like the one thing about you is like you've been around a really long time right people truly know who you are over a decade yeah, more than a decade they truly know they if might was... not always agree with you right but we truly know you and and that's and it. that's the one thing i have to give you i don't always agree with you not taking the higher road because sometimes i do want you to but i do realize that sometimes when people take the higher road it's purposely and it's not authentic right it's like they're purposely and you won't do that but and, and but, it's like one of those things where you're like no like i have to say what's real here and it, i i have to say it's refreshing yeah it because is. i don't like people lying i don't like fake people i call you out um, because I'm just so, I'm just, I'm, I'm an average guy. I'm a blue collar guy. You know, I, I I'm, I'm never going to change. I'm going to stay humble as hell. We know this. You and, know that Joe goes to the gym still sometimes with work boots on and it drives me insane. Cause I'm like, yeah. that is not proper. But anyway, but, I had to, inch- Go but ahead. you say that, but then <laughs> the young guys in there, the 18 year olds, the 16 year olds, the 20 year olds, they come up to me and they, and I motivate them and they're like, wow, 
how old you're 48 years old and you're in here and you keep working and you worked all day and they look up to me and I like that you I know I believe that and I believe that I try to motivate everybody in life and I I like to help instead of hurting somebody I want to help everybody right you know and that's it and that's what I I live I live for that I really do and and um I just want to be happy and I just want to be happy with everybody and I, I when when people talk all this stuff and and they say all this negative stuff about me. I, I laugh. And, and you got to have very thick skin in this business. Oh, yeah. People you, say that to you and I, honestly, all the time. People come up to us constantly, and they're always just like, wow, guys. Like, wow. First of all, we do a lot, right? We have a lot on our plates, and we take on a lot. It's not anybody else's fault. We choose this life, right? Yeah. And then there's the kids, and there's like – and you and I, right, so many people come up to us and say, like, how do you guys do it and not lose – your senses like not lose who you are and yeah. like not just like how do i don't joe sometimes i don't know how and maybe that's why we are meant to be because we are both on the same speed right we're yeah. both on the same train the train goes pretty fast and we can handle a lot it, it's a heavy weighted train i needed and i needed like, somebody like yeah. you because i'm crazy yeah you and are I, and i'm a, I, i'm I, i run faster than a train I, I like Sometimes to, I, I like want to look at you and just say, sit down. I do. But then I have to look at myself and say the same, you know? No. So it's like, and, and you know, it's crazy. This conversation at dinner I had the other night, we also started to discuss like how people, certain people are held at different standards. And I'm not going to like point exact names here, but there, there's very specific people that both of us like, surround ourselves with or even sometimes we're forced to be around and definitely there's family members and cast members and you know that are just held to a different standard than i am right and, which i don't think it's fair because it's like melissa should know better and to be honest i am sick of like the double standard and this was like a huge conversation at dinner last night i feel like some of the other women that i'm around right and some family members yep. and you know it's like if they do it, it's okay sometimes because it's like they get a pass. That's what I don't like. Like why do certain people – why do we give certain people a pass? Because that's not fair, right? Mm -hmm. It's like when someone constantly gets a pass, I need to understand – why where i used to be just as guilty as not you know i used to be as guilty for giving the passes right and there's something's happened to me lately where i'm like no i'm i'm done like turning my head to the left and making me pretend i didn't see it like no i actually saw it and if i did what you did you would nail me to the cross and that I, there's just something that i'm just over giving certain people passes right like i because, don't want to do it because the good people and really good sane people we go through a lot and we don't talk we really don't because we look the other way but there's a there's a point that when you do talk, then everybody listens or they start going, oh, my God, he said something because right. we never do it. Right. So when we do, it's a big deal. You know, I, I could we could be on this podcast every day rebuttaling, right? We could be here every day saying, oh, guess what, guys? We read this, this, and this, and here's this, this, and this for an answer. And this one and this one and this one talked about us on our podcast for 30 minutes, which I will say, like, it's so funny when people talk to me about, like, storylines and needing to talk about, like, my in-laws and, and, like, your sister and all of these things. And it's like... Um, I really haven't said a word since the finale other than like when we have no choice at BravoCon. It's like, it's just not like I need to turn it off. Yeah. Right. And then I'm listening and reading these like quotes and things that are coming in. And I'm like, is the, like literally speaking about me, like my cast members on multiple cod, multiple podcasts on their own podcasts, you know, even for like, for instance, like Teresa speaking about me on her own podcast, you for over 30 minutes. And I'm just like, why am I hell? If I did that, they would, she or anyone that listens to us would never let us live it down. And I just think it's unfair, right? That it's like, it's just not fair that the expectations for each of us is different. And that I'm sometimes held to a higher standard. Sorry. I, it's just, I am. Wouldn't you and rather be that way? Yes. But okay. like, you So know, stay that way. That's it. 
I don't care. I, I was like that my whole life. I've said that to you when I first met you. I've succeeded every day, no matter what I did. If it was gonna, I was going to be a shoveler for a company, I shoveled the best. And I worked so hard at it. And I liked that position. Right. And, and the other guys were saying, stop shoveling. The boss is not here. And I'm like, no. We, we're working for him. He's paying us. Let's make him money. So I'm always going to be the better person. And you continue to be the better person. And let people bark. Who cares? Because their bark is not that loud. I'll be honest with you. You know what I mean, babe? Yeah. And I'll be honest with you. Like now with haters or anything, we've been on this show for so long. It's, do you feel the same? Like it's just become like noise to me now. It's like it noise in the background. Like I don't even read it. I don't see it. I don't even hear it. And the truth is like, I don't even care. That's Which it. is like, <laughs> ho- you want to sing hallelujah? Like I literally am like, I- just keep talking like it must be so exhausting like there's certain like hater accounts that will literally wake up in the morning i swear to you they will start like talking shit from 9 a.m till midnight and i'm just like wow like they should really come to one of my appearances and like meet me because they really should because it's like how who has the time i don't unless they're getting paid to do it well listen it happens joe it's proven you got all that time if you got all that time to sit there and write all that and you start in the morning i mean it's Either you're getting paid for it or you're wasting your time. Well, no. My thing is, like, if you're not getting paid for it, oh, my God. I feel hard. Like, think about the negativity that that person has to, like, search for every day, right? And, like, come up with, like, I'm almost, I almost feel bad for that person. Like, I'm just like, wow. Like, could you imagine your whole day revolving around hate and, like, what you can do (sighs) to, like, put out on the internet and like social media to harm someone else. It's actually very sad. It it's is sad. very sad. And it's like, I feel bad for those people, but you know what? I've learned to like, I wish them well. I hope they find like faith or whatever it is that can bring them to the light because there's, it's, there's just too much negativity out there. And, you know, I think people do need to remember at the end of the day, guys, and we're just going to wrap with it with this, that, you know, you do need to remember at the end of the day that reality TV people are real humans. You know, we are on a show to entertain you. We do understand that we like subject ourselves to that and we sign up for it. No one is going to deny that. No one can blame that on anything. We have chosen this life, right? Oh, yeah. But for the people watching, there has to be a certain amount of humanity that you keep into it. And you do need to realize that, yes, this is our life out there, but it's also, you know, we're also humans. We also have children and it's, you know, just do the right thing. Give us our, give us your opinions on what we said or, you know, how our argument went as a couple or what happened between the girls. That's all fair game, right? But it's when you put lies and hate to a point of unnecessary when it's completely unnecessary is where I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. You know? And so it's important to touch on that because it's the holidays. And I feel like this is when you're supposed to spread love the most. And if I, and if anyone hearing this, it might, I'm not just pertaining this to be about hate to Joe and I, by the way, this is not just about like everybody. Oh, we saw it's, it's, if you're putting hate to anyone out there, right. If you have ever written anything and you went to sleep that night and put your head on your pillow and said, I can't believe I just wrote that comment on social media to whoever jesse james decker whoever just anybody right it's like you know sometimes you need to like she she just got some hate right she just posted a picture a video with her children and she she put some some abs on them and they went nuts on her. I don't think she did that. I think those are her children's bodies. Oh, I don't know. I really don't know the no, story. She didn't but... put abs. No, those are her children's bodies. The, all three of them got abs like that or something? Yeah, they, those oh. two kids. Yes. Oh, so... Honey, if we, not for nothing, if we took a picture of Gino right now. No, no, I know. We, would we would we paint abs on him or would he no, just look like that? No, I, so I don't, I really don't know the story. I'm just, I just saw it here and there. So she, her and her husband well, maybe fought she back. Was being accused of doing something that. like that, and yes. then she, they're fighting back, and they're like, "Oh, yeah, something like that." So, okay, so, so it's like yeah, what I'm trying to say is everybody's talk. They always they nitpick everything. They do. Why? And listen, it is part of like, but look, she's not on a reality show, right? And it's happening to her. So that's why I'm saying, if you know, it's just a good time in life. I just want to end with like. 
back to the note of standards, you know, I just do think that if you plan to hold others up to higher standards, don't forget to set that example yourself. Sure. Yes. That's how That's I a good one, end baby. this. Yeah, and that like that. Okay, right there. I'm going to drop this mic on drop. the 50th episode of On Display Bang. with Melissa Gorga. Um, be good people. Be good humans. We love you guys so much. Do not forget to download Joe's comedy show. What, it's what, hysterical. What? The real Joe Gorga dot com, guys. It makes a great little Christmas gift. People will laugh at it. Hanukkah it's o- gift. Yeah, it's only twenty dollars. It's a great holiday Kwanzaa. gift. It's a great stocking stuffer. Um, listen, you'll get a little laugh at it. Is he Sebastian? No. Oh, uh, look at that. Ah! Cut that shit out. <laughs> no, but that's what you got to be real. Like, he's great. He's funny. What? If you are a Housewives no, no, no. fan. Here's my no, model. Honey. Here's my model. If you're going to download my video, <laughs> make sure you have insurance, health insurance, because when you laugh so hard <laughs> and you crack a rib, the Gorgas are not responsible. We're not paying your bill. <laughs> so go to the real joegorga.com to stream it live. Baby. There you go. And it's to always- all my listeners out there, when you watch this special, keep an eye out because the podcast itself on display makes a very special appearance. Um, in it so make sure you guys pay attention because on display is definitely going to be in the special okay my listeners i love you so much happy 50th episode we are going to go drink a little champagne and celebrate we love you guys so much Mwah. ciao bye